Hi friends, we'll solve problem on variable acceleration. Just see what is given in problem. The motion of particle is defined by relation V equal to 4t square minus 3t minus 1, where V is in meters per second and t is in seconds. If the displacement x equal to minus 4 meters at t equal to 0 seconds, determine the displacement and acceleration when t equal to 3 seconds. Find also the time when velocity becomes 0 and the distance travelled by the particle during that time. In this problem, this equation of velocity is important where v is a function of time t. Therefore, to write this equation of velocity which is a function of time t given as v equal to 4t square minus 3t minus 1. 4t square minus 3t minus 1. Say this one is equation number 1. You have to find out displacement as well as velocity becomes 0 at that instant. What is the time instant? That means you must know equation of first one displacement from equation of velocity. This velocity as a function of time t will write this velocity in terms of x. As v is a function of time t, velocity can be written as what? dx upon dt. Rate of change of displacement with respect to time is velocity. dx by dt equal to 4t square minus 3t minus 1. Therefore, dx is written as 4t square minus 3t minus 1 dt. Now, if we we'll integrate this equation, we will get relation between this x means position in terms of time t. Therefore, integrating this equation, integrating If we will integrate this equation, so on left hand side what we will get? Integral of dx equal to integral of 4t square minus 3t minus 1 dt. Integral of dx is very simple, which one is x? Integral of 4t square, 4 constant, integral of t square is t cube upon 3 minus 3 constant integral of t is t square by 2 minus integral of minus 1 becomes minus t plus some constant of integration c1. Now equation is in terms of x and t one constant of integration c1. To find out this constant of integration initial condition is given in problem at t equal to 0 x is minus 4. If we use this condition at t equal to 0 second, x equal to minus 4 meters, we will substitute t equal to 0 and we will substitute x as a minus 4 meters. So, easily you will get here value of constant c1. x equal to, if we will substitute minus 4, it is 4t cube by 3. That means here time is 0, so this term becomes 0. Minus, again here if we will substitute time t as 0. What will get second term 0, third term minus t, that means t is 0 plus c1. Therefore, c1 constant of integration comes out to be minus 4. We will substitute this constant of integration c1 equal to minus 4 meter in this equation of x. We will substitute x equal to this equation of displacement becomes 4 by 3 t cube minus 3 by 2 t square minus t and c1 is minus 4. Let me this equation of x in terms of time t will write as equation number 2. First equation what is given is equation of velocity. This one is equation number 2. As a velocity equation is known that v equal to 4t square 
minus 3t minus 1. This equation, if we differentiate with respect to time t, what will get? Equation of acceleration. Because once we will differentiate v with respect to time t, it becomes dv by dt. Rate of change of velocity with respect to time is acceleration. Therefore, differentiating this equation, dv by dt equal to, if we differentiate it becomes 8t and differentiation of minus 3t is minus 3 and next term becomes 0. Where dv by dt is acceleration, that is 8t minus 3. This one is equation number 3. Equation number 1 is equation of velocity. Equation number 2 is equation of position and equation of acceleration is equation number 3. Now what is the asking problem? Once these three equations are ready, just here, find, determine the displacement and acceleration at t equal to 3 seconds. That means simply if t equal to 3 seconds, if we we'll substitute in equation of displacement and equation of acceleration, easily we will get what? The displacement and acceleration at t equal to 3 seconds. Therefore, at t equal to 3 seconds, first part of problem, at t equal to 3 second, we will substitute this 3 second in equation of acceleration. That means in equation number 3, if we will substitute a equal to 8t minus 3, t equal to 3 second. Therefore, it becomes 8 into 3 minus 3. That means it becomes 24 minus 3. That means 21 meters per second square. This is your answer. Next part, what you have to find out is a displacement at 3 second. A displacement at 3 second, if you want to find out, again we will substitute this t equal to 3 second in equation of position. That means equation number 2. In equation number 2 is x equal to 4 by 3 t cube minus 3 by 2 t square minus t minus 4. Now, if I will put t equal to 3 second, what we will get here? Position at t equal to 3 second. Therefore, I will write this one with suffix 3. What it represents? If we will substitute t equal to 3 second, what position we will get is at t equal to 3 second. Therefore, x3 equal to 4 by 3. t will substitute as 3 second to becomes 3 cube minus 3 by 2. Time is a 3 second 3 square minus t is again 3 minus 4. That means x3, if we will find out using calculator, just calculate this value, x3 comes out to be 15.5 meters. Now you have to find out displacement at 3 seconds. What we are getting here is a position at 3 seconds. Displacement is always final position minus initial position. Here, here, what is the initial position? When initial position is not given, it is always at t equal to 0 second. Therefore, at t equal to 0 second, if you want to find out what is the position, in same equation of x, I will substitute t equal to 0, I will write position as x equal to 0 second. Here, first term becomes what? 0. Second term, again 0. Third term, again 0. And last term, minus 4. That means, x0 comes out to be minus 4 meters. Now, displacement delta x. In 3 seconds, if you want to find out, it is always final position minus initial position. Final position means where? At t equal to 3 seconds. Initial position at t equal to 0 second. Therefore, final position is x3 minus initial position is at 0 second, x0. x3, what you have calculated is 15.5 meters minus x0 term, what you are getting is minus 4. Therefore, we'll substitute in bracket minus 4. That means minus minus become plus 15.5 plus 4. Answer comes out to be 19.5 meters. This is your displacement at t equal to 3 seconds. Next part, what you have to find out in problem, 
is the time when velocity becomes zero. To find out time when velocity becomes zero, we have to use the equation of velocity. Now, equation of velocity already you have written or what is given initially that is equation of velocity. You know equation of velocity what is given in problem. Using equation number one, that is equation of velocity v equal to 4t square minus 3t minus 1. Now, what is the asking problem about velocity? Find also the time when velocity becomes 0. Now, as velocity is 0, in this equation number 1, if we we'll put velocity equal to 0, you will get what time instant is it when velocity is 0. Now, this one velocity is 0, 4t square minus 3t minus 1 is 0. This one is a quadratic equation. That means if you we'll solve this quadratic equation, 4t square minus 3t minus 1 equal to 0 using calculator, substituting a as 4, b as minus 3 and c equal to minus 1. So, here solving this equation, quadratic equation, what answer we will get is what? 1 second. That means this is your next answer. The time instant at which velocity becomes 0. Now, what is asking problem next part after this time instant? You have to find out distance traveled by particle during that time. That means you have to find out distance traveled. You have to find out distance traveled during this time interval. That means distance traveled from 0 to 1 second. To find out distance traveled from 0 to 1 second, you have to find out what is the position at 1 second. You have to find out what is position at 0 second. So, we will find out position at 1 second. That means using equation of position. And the equation of position already you know. It is 4 by 3. 4 by 3 t cube. That means this one becomes what? 1 cube. Next term minus 3 by 2 t square. That means minus 3 by 2 t is what? 1. 1 square. Next term is minus t. That means minus 1. Last term is minus 4. If you calculate this equation, substituting t as 1 second, what we will get here? Position at 1 second. Which one comes out to be minus 5.167 meters. x0 already you have calculated which one is equal to minus 4. That means now displacement if you will find out it is final position x1 minus initial position x0. Simply substituting your values x1 and x0, x1 is minus 5.167 minus x0 is minus 4 but when you will find out distance travelled, distance travelled is always positive. Therefore, when you will find out this distance travelled, we will use the mod sign and now what answer we will get? Inside the mod, it is minus 1.167 meters. But when you will take mod sign, because distance travelled is always positive. Final answer what we will get is 1.167 meters. This one is distance travelled in this 0 to 1 second. Thank you.